Happy May 4th, friends. May the 4th be with you. You know what today is. It's Star Wars Day. And we will be doing a makeup tutorial based on the classic Princess Leia look. I do have a full outfit. This is not what we're going to be rocking today. We're going to be rocking the full white garment. I do not have a blaster, so we're going to do a lightsaber. I know that's technically not canon, but we're in quarantine. Work with me. <laughs> so, I am going to take the wig off when I do my makeup and put it back on. But I'll make this good makeup. Alright, so we've done some moisturizer. Started our skincare routine. Excuse me. Um, her makeup is very, very beautiful, but it's very, very just clean. It's not by any means extravagant, which is totally fine. So I'm grabbing my favorite eye base and I'm gonna just go ahead and start to work that just to really create like a maybe later. Just gonna work this right into the eye and then I'm gonna go under the eye as well. So her hair is obviously not red like mine, so I'm going to be dipping into a brown actually just shadow to start to work my brow her brow is groomed but it's not like overly stylized and painted so i'm keeping that in mind as i just kind of flesh out my immediately brow. grab my clear brow gel and just flick that This latest makeup may be the easiest one I have yet. Go into the other side. Alright. Done the brows. We started the eyes. Now I'm just going to work my primer into my skin and let that start to absorb and just work into my skin. And then we'll do the lid. So, her eyeshadow is very beautiful, but minimalistic. Let's be honest with ourselves. So, I'm just grabbing a really, really nice neutral palette. The blue, ignore the blue, but we're going to do just a nice palette. I'm going to dip into this kind of like a beige light. Just kind of work that into my crease. Just to give my eye, like, so... Her liner looks like it's definitely done with a pencil. So we're going to go ahead and dip into our long-lasting Urban Decay eye pencil. And we are going to first just start to work a little bit of the black right into our lash line. We're not extending out, we're just working it into the lash line. And then I'm going to go yes. out with a liner brush. All right, so we are done with the eyes for the most part. We are going to pop some false lashes on there because I feel like we need a little bit of lash, but eyes look good. All right, so we are going to go ahead and curl our lashes, throw on some mascara, and then let our lash glue dry. And then while the lash glue is setting up and drying, then we're gonna go ahead and finish the face. Now she has, it's more blush than anything else. Like there's limited contour. I'm gonna even say no bronzer. So let's right. go So I do decide that I need a little bit of under the foundation contouring and a little bit of color correcting in order to really get her look so she does have a rounder face kind of like mine but I do want to slim out my jawline a little bit so I am going to go in with a darker shade and I'm going to just kind of bring in my forehead a little bit 
Now under the foundation is going to make this look like a super subtle contouring because the foundation is actually going to cover up all this nonsense. Bring my jaw in a bit and then I'm going to bring in my forehead a bit. So we went in with a cream blush by Milk Makeup. Favorite cream blush right now in Jade Raleigh. Yum, yum, yum. And I really just like how it's giving me that like glowy, youthful kind yeah, of really was embodying. Was she was supposed to look really young and youthful and beautiful and somebody that people wanted to be. Um, maybe a little bit more. does wear a lot of white so we don't want to lose ourselves which I mean come on now you're in battle and you're wearing that much white really next thing you know you're gonna be wearing high heels that's what women do we were wearing white and high heels when we're in the middle of combat ridiculous all right we're gonna set this up with some powder okay to be fair, the lashes are a tiny bit long for what Princess Leia wore in the movies. I admit it. However, these are the ones I have handy and these are the ones that are my favorite, so... Alright. Now, I know Princess Leia does not wear uh, a lot of jewelry in the movie, but I do have these really cute Star Wars earrings, so I will be rocking those today. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna pop my wig cap on and then I'm gonna put my wig on. Fair. All right, I got my little earrings in, I got my rebel symbol, and I got my little R2-D2. I was going to try and figure out how to make Murray my R2-D2 for the day, but he was not going to have that. So, if y'all don't know what a wig cap is, this is what it looks like. It's very much just a nylon cap. It's supposed to be super duper tight to your head, so that way you can properly get all of your hair to lay down. Here's my cute Princess Leia wig. And then with the wig cap, it just makes it like a million times easier to just go ahead and slip that. To top off the look, I went ahead and used some of my Glow Skin Beauty lip crayon. Um, this is called Countess Coral. I do believe it's discontinued, unfortunately. But that's like perfect what she wears. Okay. I am loving the space buns. I mean, that is just so classic Princess Leia. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. See when you do that? Uh huh. Sorry, that's not too mount horn. That's just like, okay, I think I got it. Because I was a little worried halfway through because the black eyeliner was throwing me off. I never do the bottoms. All right, so I'm going to go check. I'll be right back. Ta da! I got the whole, I mean, I even got the belt on. Yeah, buddy. Got to our side by side. It's like perfect, right? Okay, confession time. So I am a true costume hoarder. I bought this on a after Halloween clearance sale back when. Oh shoot! What one? Anyway, my boyfriend is a huge Star Wars from an addict, so I got for him for Christmas um, premiere tickets, and I said, let's dress up. And so I planned it from the Halloween before I had everything ready to go. He dressed up as Han Solo. I went up to sleep with Princess Leia. But this, yeah, is why this is why I'm a costume hoarder, so I can do crazy cool things for you guys on here, because... This is so much fun for me, and may the 4th be with you, and I'm going to post pictures of the full outfit with a late. Thank you guys for watching. Mwah!